Fresh seafood from the coastal waters of Hokkaido. Comfort food to the Asians. No hot dogs, no beans, you know. And picture-perfect winter landscapes with soft, powdery snow. Over the past decade, Niseko in southwest Hokkaido has become Asia's premier ski resort, drawing not just tourists, but also investors like Singaporean Eng Bakchim. Niseko is by far the most developed and popular ski resort catering to the international market. It's English speaking. That's very important. There's a constant powder snow. From, this is from the Siberian winds, you know, so it's throughout the season. Very important for Singaporeans, little time difference, so there's no jet lag. Prime residential properties across the major global ski resorts have remained in high demand, despite the impact of the pandemic on international travel. The average asking price across the world's top ski resorts rose by more than 20% last year and by over 30% since 2020. In Asia, a growing number of visitors is transforming the skiing industry in Japan and the property market that serves it. Despite the absence of the overseas market during the pandemic, residential land prices in Niseko were still growing at 12% last year. The weakening of the yen has also contributed further to demand. The market has grown at so much that when you're not here, you can rent out your property and you can make a return. The return is, on a percentage scale, is usually quite small, but it should be more than enough to cover your costs. The big return comes if you sell your property. Um, so if we take Niseko as an example, property prices have probably tripled in the last 10 years. Uh, land prices, you know, they might have gone up 10 times. For those looking to invest in ski property, Niseko offers more affordable options compared to those in the US and Europe. A centrally located three-bedroom apartment would cost 145 million yen or over 1.1 million US dollars. A similar apartment in the US or European ski markets would cost about 3 million US dollars, three times the amount. One of the beauties about Japan as an investor is that you, you do get the same rights as Japanese people. Um, there's no difference in ownership, there's no difference in tax. Uh, you know, you can, you can invest like, like a Japanese person can, and it's an extremely safe place to invest. But there are additional costs that accompany the ownership of a ski property. Property owners are typically required to pay a management fee every month, which usually comprises 30% of revenue earned plus 30,000 yen, or 230 US dollars. And as with all investments, prospective investors do need to do their homework. People need to understand that, you know, the construction cost underwrites how much property is sold for in Japan, and it is high. Um, so as part of that equation is the, the world all uses leverage, all uses debt to fund and invest. We don't have that in the market here. So for a foreigner, it's very difficult, near, nearly impossible for them to get bank debt to leverage. So it couples with a, with a high cost and it has to be a cash investment or, or debt funded offshore. In 2017, Niseko welcomed around 220,000 foreign hotel guests, a five-fold increase in a decade. But during COVID-19, Japan's borders were closed for over two years. In 2021, there were only 77 foreign hotel guests. All the whole industry suffered. I will tell you, it's red ink. It's zero revenue for winters. Zero. But expenses keep on going. So there is also, you know, uh, running costs, snow clearing. You know, there's uh, diesel, there's electricity. All these adds up. And it's definitely unprofitable. But market watchers point out that despite the border closures, properties in Niseko continued to be built, developed and put on the market. One such property is the newly opened Setsu Niseko development. Construction of the 190-suite luxury property began at the start of the pandemic, 
It opened in August last year. The big driver is out of Asia. Um, you know, Singapore, Hong Kong, Thailand, Indonesia have, have grown over the last 10 years, but the big one is China um, and, the, and the money coming from there. So as a financial investment, uh, you know, it's still, we're still not even halfway up the wave. China is just across the Japanese seas with many airports just a hop away to Chitose, one hour, Dalian, Qingdao, and so on. And they are not even here yet. And you know, China has a large upper middle class, raring to go. One common challenge for ski resorts around the world is how to diversify their appeal so that they can become year-round destinations. Financially speaking, that's where you know, the, the growth maybe will come from. Um, so summer in Hokkaido particularly, um, but in all the Japanese mountains, is really pleasant. As I said, it's you know, 20 to 25 degrees, it's not humid. There's loads of activities to do from golf to fishing to hiking cycling, um, and, and that's growing in popularity. As that grows in popularity, the resorts become more sustainable um, and your investment will generate better returns. <music>